Hi everyone, this will be a crochet tutorial for the Gründel Crochet Bag Cotton Fun. You will need approximately 350 gram of Gründel Cotton Fun yarn. Choose any color you like. You also need a 3.5 mm crochet hook, a tapestry needle and scissors. We have to crochet 24 granny squares. I will show you one of them. Pull the yarn from the center of your ball. That's more comfortable. We start with a magic ring, form a ring, put the long strand under the ring and pull it through. You'll get a loop. Put your hook through the loop but don't tighten. Chain 1 to secure your ring. Chain 2 stitches. single crochet through the ring. For this put your hook through the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. This creates a single crochet. Now chain one. One single crochet through the ring, chain one, single crochet through the ring, chain one. Now close your ring by pulling the short strand very tight. Now join the round by slip stitching through the first stitch. Just pull the yarn through all loops on your hook. Start the second round by chaining one. Now work a corner through the space. Every corner goes like this. One single crochet, chain one, one single crochet through the same stitch. Then one single crochet. Now you can see again a space. Work a second corner, one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet, then one single crochet. Now work the third corner again, one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet, one single crochet through the next stitch. Now we have corner number four. One single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. Now join the round by slip stitching. At this point you should recognize a square. For round three start with a chain stitch and turn your work. Then crochet one single crochet. And now work a corner. One single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. Afterwards, crochet three single crochets. This is the next corner. One single crochet, chain one, one single crochet through the same stitch. Now three single crochets in between. Now again a corner. One single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. Then three single crochets. And the last corner. Again one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. We have already two stitches, so we have to crochet only one single crochet and then we can join the round.
For round 4, chain 1 and turn your work. Now crochet 2 single crochets. Now again a corner. 1 single crochet, chain 1, 1 single crochet. Crochet 5 single crochets in between. These are two more as the previous round. Then again a corner. Again five single crochets. And again a corner. Five single crochets. And a corner. At the end, we have already three stitches. That means we have to crochet only two single crochets. And you can join the round. For round 5, chain 1 and turn your work. Now we crochet 3 single crochets. A corner. Now we crochet 7 single crochets. And also here, 2 stitches more than in the previous round. A corner. Again, seven single crochets. And a corner. Seven single crochets. A corner. We crochet three single crochets until the end of the round. And we join our round with a slip stitch. Now you should recognize the pattern which is quite simple. Every round we have two stitches more between the corners. Corners are always the same. After the fifth round we will change the color. For this I have to undo my last stitch. We have to join the round using the new color. I put my hook through the same stitch again and use the new color to finish the slip stitch. You should get now a nice seam. On the back side I make a knot. You can cut the yellow yarn. We continue crocheting only with orange. As you can see my tails are on the wrong side. At this point you can decide which chase you want to pull to which side, but they all should be on one side only. I will take the one from the very beginning and then we can go on. Now turn your work and work four single crochets. Now 
Now we have a corner again. Work nine single crochets. And again a corner. And again nine single crochets. A corner. And nine single crochets. A corner and work four single crochets. Then join the round again. For the next round, chain one again, turn your work and crochet five single crochets and so on. Continue this way until you finish 10 rounds. So this is how it should look like. I will undo the last stitch for you to show how to finish a granny square. After joining your round 10, just cut the yarn. You can leave it longer for sewing. Then pull this tail through the last stitch and tighten. These are 24 grannies. I have 12 this style and 12 in this look. And now we're going to put them together. But first make sure that all your tails are on one side. This one is not finished. You can sew all your loose ends now or later, as you like. Now you should find an order how to join your grannies. The inside is facing us. For sewing, I'm using scrap yarn, but still cotton fun. If it's possible, the color should match at least one granny, but it wouldn't matter if you take another one. And now I put my hook through the last stitch on one granny side and also through the last stitch on the other granny side. Pull the yarn through these loops, then make a simple knot. Leave a tail for sewing. We continue by putting our hook through the next two loops and we work slip stitches. Actually, you take the front loop on the first granny and the back loop on the second granny because if your work is flat, they are the highest loops. After sewing the first two grannies, don't stop, just add two more and continue the same way. So 
so this is how it looks like if you joined all the grannies on their vertical lines. Now fold your work and join your grannies to a tube. At this point, we have also to join our grannies on the horizontal line. I'm nearly finished, so if you have to crochet over the crossing, just crochet a slip stitch into this seam and continue. For the bottom, we have to chain 64 stitches. Make sure to chain your stitches loose. These are 64 stitches. And now we will crochet 23 rows using only single crochets. At the beginning of each row, chain 1. Then put your hook through the second stitch and single crochet across the row. That's row 1. Now chain 1, turn your work and start at the second stitch. This is how your bottom should look like. If your chain isn't loose, your work would now look like this. So let's have a look at the sewing plan. You can see that our bottom meets two grannies at their center. We will join our bottom outside and we will use single crochets this time. Your orientation point is the short tail in the middle. Put your hook through the center stitch and pull the last loop from the bottom through this stitch. On this side, we have to find our stitches on our own, because they look different. Put your hook through one stitch on each side, pull up a loop and pull through two. Continue this way. Your next corner should match the next granny center. Have a look at the sewing plan to make sure you're joining right. This is how it looks like after joining. Now we will continue at the top. It doesn't matter if you finish the bottom or the top first. I will tie a knot between two grannies. Then we will crochet single crochets across all the grannies. There are 21 single crochets for each granny. So take your long strand. I will crochet over these short ones so I don't have to sew them later. Put 
put your hook through the first stitch after the corner. Pull up your loop and chain one. This counts as one single crochet. Then continue with single crochets. Number 21 goes in between. Don't forget your tails. Continue this way for 5 rounds. I would work in joining rounds. Please turn your work after each round. Otherwise you will get a not centered seam and our stitch counting would not work. Actually you join the same way as we did for our grannies. You slip stitch, chain 1, turn your work and continue. These are 5 rounds. In round 6 we will crochet some holes. First we crochet 20 single crochets. Now chain 3 stitches and skip 3 stitches. So you skip number 21, 22 and 23 but single crochet in number 24. Continue working single crochets until stitch 62. This stitch is number 61. Now chain 3. Skip 3 stitches so you skip 62, 63 and 64 and single crochet 65. Crochet the same hole from number 105 till 107 and also for 146 till 148. So these two holes are on the front side and the next two will be on the back side. After round 6 we will crochet 6 rounds more. I'll show you how to crochet over the holes. So this is the last single crochet before the hole and then crochet just through the hole and work 3 single crochets. Then continue working single crochets across the round. We will meet again if you have 12 rounds at all. These are my 12 rounds. Now we will crochet some handles. For this we have to chain 180 stitches and we have to crochet 5 rows single crochets. We will do it the same way as our bottom. So chain 180 stitches. Make sure your chain is loose. Don't forget always to chain one and then turn your work. You will need two handles. In between block your bag, take a container with water, it doesn't matter if it's cold or warm, put your bag into it and make sure your bag is really wet. Then flatten it on a towel, shape it and let it dry. Our bag is still wet, but I would like to show you how to sew your tails. This here is our tapestry needle. Put your work inside out. Now stitch your needle through the yarn. Then go back. Make sure your tail in your work is loose. Now 
Now cut the yarn and you're done. You can do it the same way with all your other tails. If you want to sew an orange tail, make sure you sew it only in the orange area. These are my handles. They are not blocked, but you can do it if you want. Now I am looking for the sewing parts because I want to face them inside. Then pull your handle through a hole and make a knot. Make sure you do not twist your handle and do a second knot. On the other side, we do the same. And now you're done. If you do not like your bottom, you can cut a cardboard and put it into your bag for better stability. If you don't want to sew your tails, you can sew a lining. Just use cotton fabric. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Watch also other videos and don't forget to subscribe to be notified about new videos. Happy crocheting and bye bye!